Hello everyone. Today we're gonna to talk about a supply chain strategy that focuses on being responsive. What exactly does it mean to have a responsive supply chain strategy? Well, with this approach, organizations have an intense focus on quickly reacting to unpredictable demand. The goal of this strategy is to stay in stock on hot, new, innovative items while still minimizing obsolete inventory levels and associated markdowns. Or said another way, a responsive supply chain is able to deal with uncertain sales patterns without holding large amounts of safety stock by rapidly responding to demand signals. Like any strategy, the responsive supply chain strategy has certain conditions. It is typically used with innovative products and it complements a corporate strategy based on differentiation. The origins of a responsive supply chain strategy can be traced back to the Toyota just-in-time production system. Just-in-time production invests heavily in reducing the amount of time it takes to perform basic tasks. This reduces overall lead times for a finished product. A responsive supply chain strategy builds on this idea of reducing lead times within a factory and expands the concept to all functional areas within a supply chain. For example, consider a generic supply chain with common source, move, make, deliver, and sell functions. In the past, many of these processes had an intense focus on cost cutting. However, for companies to gain a competitive advantage based on rapid response, the approach for each functional area changes from cost to time. With a responsive supply chain strategy, trade-off decisions are made with an emphasis on time rather than cost. Therefore, each functional area is constantly looking to improve processes, drive down cycle times, and collectively reduce overall finished goods lead times. For example, sourcing managers will purchase smaller quantities of products just as needed, and they will seek out suppliers that provide the lowest lead times for products. Inbound transportation managers will typically use a premium transportation service and faster modes of transportation. They also frequently move smaller partial loads. Inbound distribution centers will constantly receive products just as they are needed, often on a just-in-time basis on short time intervals. Factories, they're going to constantly change over lines and equipment so they can build to order with shorter production runs. Rather than engage in more efficient batch picking, outbound distribution centers will respond immediately and pick individual orders as they arrive. Outbound transportation will expedite small shipments direct to the customer as soon as they become available rather than hold shipments for cost-saving consolidation opportunities. So why would a manager use a responsive supply chain strategy? I thought supply chain management was all about cutting costs. Well, being responsive enables firms to fulfill unpredictable demand. Dealing with unpredictable demand is difficult and prevents managers from proactively planning in an optimal manner. And yet, supply chains exist to serve customer needs. And supply chains are not needed without customers. So, keeping customers happy by providing them with the products that they want, when and where they need them, is essential to any business. The other benefit of a responsive supply chain strategy is that it often minimizes waste. Extra inventory is not laying around for extended periods of time, and every functional process is critically reviewed to eliminate any non-value-added activity. By always looking to reduce overall lead times, we also remove many sources of waste. Now this all sounds great, but should we always use a responsive supply chain strategy? And the answer is an emphatic no. Just as with our other supply chain strategies, a responsive strategy works best under certain conditions. Responsive supply chains are needed with certain market characteristics. Products with unpredictable demand or short product life cycles that often lead to high end of season markdowns are candidates for this approach. Products with higher margins are also candidates because focusing on quick, rapid response deliveries is costly. Low margin products simply cannot cover the cost associated with responsiveness. If there is a lot of product variety, then responsive supply chains are needed due to constant changeover and short production runs. And finally, any type of short lead time situation 
usually requires a responsive supply chain strategy. Now, process characteristics are also very important with this approach. Responsive supply chain strategies require that firms have the capability to have short production runs, frequent changeovers, and lower equipment utilization rates. It also requires smaller purchase quantities, smaller, more frequent shipments, and single order processing. Sourcing managers must have the capability to negotiate lead time reductions and identify those that are willing and able to continuously reduce time requirements. Earlier, we diagrammed a responsive supply chain with a lead time reduction focus and talked about the benefits of this approach. However, it is important to understand the trade-offs that come with being highly responsive. With this approach, every action in every functional area shown increases the cost per unit. Think about that for a minute. Organizations that use a responsive supply chain strategy are consciously increasing most supply chain costs. Why would anyone want to do that? Well, the reason is that inventory related costs, and here I'm talking about carrying costs, obsolescence costs, and markdowns, these inventory costs are greatly reduced. How are inventory costs reduced so much? Well, with a responsive strategy, innovative products are pulled through a supply chain by actual customer demand. There is no wasted inventory or markdown needed because products are not unnecessarily produced or moved until there's a clear understanding of demand patterns. How can that be? Well, ask yourself, when do supply chain processes start in a responsive supply chain? In a responsive supply chain, many supply chain processes start after the sale is made and once demand information is clear. Hence, products are pulled through the supply chain by demand information signals rather than being pushed in anticipation of sales that may never occur. This type of responsive pooling means that responsive supply chain strategy can be a great competitive advantage for your company if your market has the right conditions.